Michael. It's been uh, it's been crazy. Uh, it's been tough. Um, you know, the last few days have been tough. Have been crazy. I, I've gone out of the house and I get, you know, sneers and I get finger pointing and and and, and I don't do good with sneers and snickers. And then I actually uh, went to the to the dog park with my dog. And people that usually, you know, say hello and even play with my dog, they don't want to play, play with my dog Wheezy. And then, you know, I I, I went to my coffee shop and they said, uh, not today, cupcake. And it's weird. It's like, why are you, why are you calling me cupcake? And then I get online and social media, and you know, I know I put it out there, but uh, you know, people online uh, have have been so, so cruel and. And mean, and and I have to say about the people on social media that I don't know, um, I could give a crap about the people on social media. Um, in, in all honesty, uh, uh, guys, uh, the whole thing uh, has been crazy. I I never expected it to turn into what it turned into. Um, you know, it's something that I take as a learning experience. Um, it's something that. Um, uh, to be honest, I regret. Um, I don't know Kevin Durant uh, as a friend. I don't consider him a friend. Um, we actually met on social media. Uh, he reached out to me because he wanted to do something that I call the shame game when people come into my DMs and they say mean things, when they say uh, uh, racially insensitive things, when they threaten me, when they threaten my wife, literally, because I'm sure you guys get them. I get them every day. Uh, you know, I'm going to do this to you. I'm going to do that to you. Uh, uh, and Durant reached out to me because he wanted to do that. We actually did that. I met him. We were talking about doing business together. We didn't do business together. Uh, 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 that was no problem. Um, but that's the extent of my relationship with him. In regards to the the DMs, um, you know, it, it, this whole thing started with the opening night uh, when he made his return and uh, the uh, Shaquille Charles Barkley, Kenny Smith interview where he shunned them. And I believe you guys talked about it on the show. Mm -hmm. I said something where I didn't even add him uh, about the interview saying, if you know, if you don't want to do the interview, don't do the interview. I didn't add him the next morning or I think though, actually after the game, it might've been after the game, you know, uh, he, he started, uh, uh, you know, he went into my DMS and, and he said, uh, you know, we were going back and forth about that. And that was fine. You know, I could banter. I could trash talk. I could say whatever. You know, I'm good with that. I'm comfortable with that. I, um, you know, I've made a, a good career in the sports world from that, a great career in the podcast world because of that. But when you say you're going to spit on me and you can't wait to spit on me and let's meet up on this street and that street because you're going to spit in my face. And that was the first time. And then there was a second time when I, when I see you, I'm going to spit in your face. And then last Tuesday in the morning while I was at work on Atypical, I was dealing with a lot of moving. Um, uh, there were, there's a, there's a, 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 um, a lawsuit situation that I'm dealing with. Uh, and he hit me out of the blue. I can't wait to see your dirty butt. When I see you, I'm going to spit in your face. And I'm like, and then he kept, he kept going on and then he brought up my wife. And at that moment, it wasn't Durant. At that moment, it wasn't a basketball player. It was just another dude in my dms and i was like yo this ain't cool we're not friends there's no bro code um i don't know you like that that's not banter that's not funny that's not like me you know saying yo look at shannon's suit uh today that he's wearing on the show you know why are you wearing those colors they don't match or skip you're crazy uh that shot wasn't as big the greatest shot ever that's none of that stuff that's not you're sensitive that's nothing um and i put it out there did I think it would turn into this whole thing? Absolutely not. Do I wish I had never done it? A hundred percent because um, it turned in, it turned into a whole situation that I didn't imagine. I didn't imagine that it would grow tentacles into a race issue, which is shocking to me. Uh, I didn't realize that it would grow tentacles to turn into a possible homophobic issue. Um, but uh, it, it, it happened. There's obviously, uh, uh, you know, his ramifications have been public. Uh, in all transparency, full transparency, I've had to deal with ramifications, uh, you know, with my world and my business. And I got to take that on the chin. And, uh, you know, going forward, I just have to be uh, sharper. I have to be smarter. 
I have to be more mature about how I, um, you know, handle myself on social media. So that's that's how, you know, that's the gist of it. And, and uh, you know, like at the end of the day, I regret that the whole thing happened. And, uh, you know, aside from, you know, all the banter, the person that was the most pissed off uh, about me, probably the most pissed off because of the attention and the sort of negative attention um, is my wife. Uh, and she's probably, you know, I, like forget the doghouse. I'm in the house with the alligators with her. She she doesn't like the attention and the negative attention. And, and that's where we are. So that being said, you know, I got to take all that on the chin and, uh, you know, hopefully I can move forward and, uh, you know, be better uh, in regards to how I deal and, uh, uh, you know, speak on social media. So, Michael, you're saying that all the negative backlash you've received, even from your wife, is because you went public with the DMs. So you you regret going public with the DMs. No, I don't regret going public with the DMs. My wife, that's just like she doesn't like attention. Mm. You know, she don't care about the DMs. And like I said, I've put people on blast with DMs all the time. I do it all the time, literally all the time. That's why Durant reached out to me. We did a skit that's on his uh, YouTube network where he put out a tweet and, you know, we read his messages um, online called the shame game. I put out people's DMs. If you say uh, um, anti-Semitic things to me, if you say you're an N-word lover, if you say, you know, I'm going to when I see you, I'm going to do this to you. I've, I put people people's DMs all the time um, at that moment. Durant was just. A person in my DMs threatening me. Uh, it was the third time. And like I said, uh, uh, it was just a spur of the moment thing. You know, when I've made rants standing up for the little guy, when I made rants that go super viral, super viral in regards to the Charlottesville situation. Um, you know, obviously we don't talk politics on this show, but I've made rants that went super viral uh, uh, regarding politics. I made a rant that the only time I ever got suspended on Twitter was uh, when that Fox News uh, old lady, she said to shut up and dribble. And I did a very volatile rant in defense of NBA athletes, actually LeBron. And I believe Durant was part of what inspired her, her thing. Not that, uh, um, you know, that that matters, but, um, you know, that's just my persona on social media. It's not who I am in real life. It's a larger than life sort of exasperated, exaggerated a uh, pers persona, just like how you guys are on this show. In real life, Skip's not screaming, yelling about sports, nor is Shannon. Uh, that's my online persona. I let my online persona uh, uh, get the better of me. But in regards to why I did it, I, I didn't like being threatened. And I don't, okay. unless you're so, saying your wife is gorgeous, unless you're saying yeah. your wife is beautiful, don't speak on my wife. We're not friends. Okay, so Michael, why then do you think you got shunned by people you know at the dog park and at your um, your coffee shop? That was a joke. Um, in, in regard to the dog park and, and the coffee shop, that was I was just playing with you guys. OK, um, right. well, I, sure. I think, you know, for some for some reason, people this this took on a life of its own. And like I said, if I had known it would take on this life of its own, I wouldn't have done it. Um, people, it, it became fodder. You know, somehow it went from Tuesday to, you know, we're almost a week. Usually, you you know, these things on social media, the news cycle is so quick, they usually die down. This thing ignited something. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why, but I get it. I understand it. And as far as the dog park and the coffee shop and, uh, uh, you know, some people that I know that I, that I consider personal friends have commented in a way that I, I, I thought they should have reached out to me. That's cool. Um, and as far as people I don't know, uh, uh, you know, burner accounts and, and, and Russian accounts and bots, I could care less. You know, I've gotten phone calls and FaceTimes from players uh, uh, that played in the league. I've gotten some uh, texts from players that uh, are in the league now. And, you know, people have varying opinions on the whole thing. I know my part in it. I take responsibility. And, uh, you know, that's that's all I could, you know, I don't know what more I could say about it.